Hello everybody and welcome back to Might and Magic Duel of Champions. So... Well... There's a little bit of problem we've got here. It's Monday. And it's worth noting that today is Monday. Though I've been recording videos on Monday previously. And still today... Today we have a problem because... New Infernal Pit cards! Timebender Gene and Syria Seeker of the Lost Souls. Unless... I'm mistaken. Because as far as I remember, the same cards were for last week, so either A, we're having the same cards for yet another week, or B, it has not updated yet. Though, I really don't know why it's happening. So there is nothing I can do about it. I cannot talk about the infernal, infernal pit cards. And that's a problem. We have a freelancer, que freelancer quest for a stronghold or a sanctuary. Play 15 fortunes and deploy 20 creatures. So that sounds like a very, very good setup for the Takanaosore deck. But I am not entirely sure that I want to play with this deck. Since it's not the best deck, I don't really feel like playing with it. So I'm gonna go with the Stronghold deck. This is the more or less standard Stronghold deck. It's not the starter deck, it's uh, something I've built uh, a while ago. And we'll see how it turns out. Mostly creatures, some spells, some... I'm sorry, what are they? The uh, fortunes? And I'm facing Anastasia, so I can already tell it's not gonna be easy. Oh crap. Yeah, I had a bad draw. And I gotten even worse. I hope for for something with a cost of one. Ah, but no. Paul Scout. Hmm. Uh, we'll use Black School sh Shredder to get rid of this thing in a more of a convenient way. Quick attack. This creature can attack or move the same turn it is deployed or changes controller. Good. So I'm increasing my might. I'm gaining one resource. And I'll drop the Power Scout. On the next turn, I'll probably go for uh, for the War Oliphant. Or should I go for the Surprise Attack? What is the thing? Imminent retaliation. When a creature with a crippling counter dies, put plus one counter on Eternal Mentor. Hmm. Okay, this is gonna be risky. But I'm gonna use three campfires all at once. Get rid of this crippling bastard. You mean to retaliation swift? Hmm. Interesting. So should I drop the war elephant? Yeah, let's risk it. Uh, 
Yeah, and it's like instantly I've uh, added four fortunes to the progress of the seer skill. That's quite a lot. Oh, you son of a... Son of a son of a... The first time a central creature at jungle outpost attacks a creature, in turn it gains an additional attack. Hmm, okay. Unlucky he's not immune to retaliation. Whenever a warrior creature attacks non-warrior creature it deals one more attack damage. Is it warrior? It is warrior. Is it warrior? No. Still it will deal only four damage. And I cannot use this, even if I want to. Trendy air creatures gain shockwave too. They are not air creatures. Do I have any air creatures, actually? That's a good question. Um, or I could use Week of the Elder Races. It has like crippling how many? Crippling one. Okay. And we're doing something. Lag, come on. Like this. No, 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 not the spells. <sighs> this is gonna be so painful. Stupid, stupid, stupid academy. Ah, uh, necropolis. And all of this stupid darkness spells. Oh, nice. Deal one damage to everything. Could use it. Um, Cyclops with a double attack. Power of the run. Whenever a warrior creature attacks non-warrior creature, it deals one more attack damage. Warrior. This ain't warrior. This ain't warrior either, but this is a warrior. Pow, veteran for four. Boom. Boom. And, um... We can boom this dude. Oh, nasty. Real nasty. Should I maybe draw a card? Do I need anything increased? Uh, maybe magic slightly. Let's uh, let's risk it. Shockwave is that they cannot attack, that they can attack empty battleground position. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. Oh, come on, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's like... I'm not sure if it's gonna work. But it should. 
it deals one more attack damage. Creature attacks. It is a non-warrior, it is a non-warrior, so... <laughs> well, you know what they say. No risk, no fun. <laughs> yeah, bloody brilliant. I wasn't sure if it's gonna work, but yeah, it did. Blood Tiger Warrior, Bloodthirst 1. While there are three or more Enrage counters on Blood Rage Warrior, it gains charge. Hmm. Black Skull Centaur. Immune Retaliation Swift. Hmm. But if I'd use... I'm trying to... Effectively use up everything I could. I could use the Blood Tiger Warrior. It's a magic shooter. Let's try it this way. Let's see where it gets us. Oh, interesting. more damage for the fact of being a warrior. Hmm, I don't think it works on this one though. I mean on the attacking the uh, hero. The first time a central creature at jungle outpost attacks a creature in turn, it gains an additional attack. So it may be useful on the next turn if I'd play it well. If I'd have a little bit of luck. Um, increase my no, maybe might. Why not? Let's try it. Nope, it's not working. That's too bad. Well, yeah, it affects a non warrior creature. And I don't quite have a non warrior creatures. Oh, you son of a bitch. It's like, I hate it. I hate it when they are being pussies and instead of fighting like a real man, they are just withering everything and using tons of crippling and it makes the game fucking boring. Instead of, in, instead of nice, intense action, we have like long, boring duels where you have like, everything is full of creatures. It's like you can't do shit. You can't do shit just because someone is putting all those freaking useless bullshit. 
Mm, it's immune to retaliation. This is flyer. This has double attack. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I could possibly do in this particular situation that honestly sucks. Um, do I have any? I don't have any air creatures. That sucks. Um. 3 plus 3 plus 1 equals 7 at best. Draw a card. Huh, interesting. Sahar Orc, Bloodthirst 1 and Rage 1. Hmm. We have 6 health. Damn it. Um. Okay, so we'll drop down here. Um. We'll drop him over there. And let's try it this way. Target creature cannot be targeted. Oh, come on, you son of a... Uh, I needed it. Yes, I did. I needed it a lot. <sighs> it's like sometimes, someday, some days, in some duels, I really have that feeling that the turn ends too quickly. Fucking son of a... Uh, attacks a creature in a turn. That sucks. Oh, mass regeneration. Bloody brilliant. Steel, I seem to own no er creatures. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Week of the Elder Races. You know, it can be a real game changer here. Uh, that share a creature type with target creature. So. Um, this is a centaur. Creature shooter. Centaur Utter. This is the Orc Warrior. This is the Cyclops, this is the Centaur Archer, this is the Goblin Archer, and this is Orc Warrior. But wait, there is more. If I'd use this for 4, this for 4 costs me total 8, I can do stuff. This can move, attack twice will be enough to get rid of that thing. Cannot be targeted, I don't care. Spell resist and cannot be targeted. What is this two here? Probably a bonus to attack. Oh, come on! Damn it. Oh, bloody brilliant. Boom. Once. Boom. Twice. You. Boom. Boom. Twice. You. Boom. You. Deploy down there. You. I cannot draw a card. Why I cannot draw a card? Whatever. I don't care. <sighs> I must have been somewhat mistaken with the... 
calculation of my monies. What is that thing? It's time of need. Search your library for a unique card and play it for free shuffle your- Fuck you! Son of a bitch. Oh, please tell me that he has no unique cards. Oh no, she no she. <sighs> well, well, well. She no she is indeed something that I wouldn't like to see there. But wait, there is more. Um, do I have? I still don't have any air creatures. So actually, yeah, it's probably my mistake that I wasn't aware of the fact that I uh, don't have this stuff. I could use mass regeneration. Huh. And she knows she is like invulnerable. Um Okay, week of elder races on these. Oh of course it's it's now crippled so it even can't do shit. Oh interesting chain lightning. I don't have enough mana for chain lightning. Uh Bloodthirst 1 and Rage 1. So... It may actually be useful. Uh, whenever a warrior attacks non-warrior it gains bonuses. But this ain't warrior. Mm, may try it. Nope. No bonuses here. Okay. Oh my god, how much he was crippled. Wretched cool. Oh my god. Deal 6 damage to target creature. By the gods, I won! I freaking won! Now wait. Don't fail it. I have to increase my magic. Yeah, to four. Um, choose target battleground position with no creature. Deal three damage to all creatures adjacent to that position. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Boom. And oh well, oh well. Good game, I owned you so much, fucker. Know what? You know what? Boom! Oh, it cannot be targeted. Well, shit. Boom! Bloody brilliant. Oh. My. God. That was good. That was really, really interesting, I must admit. Let's activate one more XP boost. And oh my god, I'm going up those ranks like crazy, I'm already knight 83%. See your 6 out of 15, Skirmisher 12 out of 20, so quite nice on both. I'm actually curious. Show me those uh, uh, those decks. 
Um, stronghold. Edit deck. So let's count the air creatures. How do we tell if a creature is an air, uh, not air, air, air creatures? How do we tell if a creature is an air creature? It should have a little air icon. Actually, I was looking for this icon in the wrong place. So I have one. Literally one. Okay, and it's a permanent ongoing spell. Uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, if, if I have only one air creature, I may, I may take a brief look around the spells for uh, maybe something else. I'm okay with the cards. I don't I don't really need more cards. And I've been doing quite well without this particular spell, so Yeah. That's uh basically it. Actually, I don't think we have anything else to cover from the from the last week. I cannot talk about the new Infernal Pit cards because they are not there. Actually, you know, since it's Monday, uh, it means that I still have uh, a little bit of time left. Uh, though, I wanted to record this uh, today, aka on Monday, because I'm pretty sure that tomorrow, on Tuesday, I won't have time to record anything and that's uh, that's bad that's mainly why why I've decided to why I've decided to record it today yeah the Wednesday is also tricky I I tend to always avoid leaving recording for for Wednesday because just in case something unplanned happens like I don't know like in the morning on, on, or, or something in the middle of the day and I'll turn out to be unable to record later on if I don't have something prepared then it will suck so that's why I always try to record a day before or two days before so sometimes I record on Monday like today usually I kinda go with recording on uh, Tuesday uh, Tuesday is a little bit better just just in case and I have this uh, this little bit of extra time just in case I, I leave it for Tuesday and on Tuesday it will turn out that I have something that renders me unable of recording a video then I still have this emergency Wednesday but I don't really want to leave anything for Wednesday Wednesday. Wednesday is tricky, Wednesday is not sure, and if something pops out on Wednesday, it will suck. It will suck badly. Really, really badly. But we'll see. It's like, uh, I'll probably wait till tomorrow. If, if everything is okay, I'll probably log into the game tomorrow and... Uh, and add a little bit of teeny tiny, like post credit scene even though despite I never have like actual credits in my videos screw this we'll 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 have a little bit of addition in the in the in the end of the video regarding the infernal pit cards I'll try to record it tomorrow and or on Wednesday but if not then it will be it Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments, opinions, suggestions, write them down there and share them with me. I, I always appreciate all of your comments. Like the video, subscribe, share, whatever else you can do with a video on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shameless self-promotion, I know. It has to be done. 
Anyway, once again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my Magic Duel of Champions. Here we are. As promised, I have logged uh, the next day. It's Tuesday today, and finally, we have the new Infernal Pit cards info. Well, first of all, you can clearly see that it's kind of bugged because we have like these two switching with the last week's card and uh, upcoming cards and today actually we should be having a lava spawn and on Friday we'll have Elizabeth so let's head on over to Infernal Pit and see if the lava spawn is there actually nope lava spawn ain't there we have Slanna's embrace so yeah, that kinda sucks. I don't know, well, the next card should be in 1 hour and 10 minutes. Uh, it is possible that in this time it will change to the lava spawn. But so far, yeah, we'll have uh, lava spawns today. These are really tricky cards. It's like, you can use them to gain a really, really quick uh, damage advantage. Yeah, they cost only one, deal up to three damage, and they cost uh, they, they cost only one, they deal three damage, and they have as much as three health with a mirror cost of two. Okay. With only two might requirement, though when Lava Spawn enters the battleground, decrease your might level by one. This can be tricky in the early game, where uh, such a resource as uh, Might is really vital. Though it's really cheap and powerful. They used to do something else, but I don't exactly remember what. As far as I can remember, I, I was really like, uh, but whatever they do is totally not worth it. I'm trying. I'm trying uh, to think whether I can remember what they used to do. Uh, they were changed in the sense of betrayal um, update. I don't recall. I don't recall what they used to do. They used to do something else, though. They had the same stats. So, really interesting inferno card. Quite tricky, but really powerful. That's actually quite interesting. This hellhound has no requirements at all. Okay, and the card we'll have on Friday is once again Hero, and this is Elizabeth. This is not this one. Mm, here it is. Elizabeth, this is a Sins of Betrayal Academy hero, and she does nothing. Literally nothing. Uh, light magic, darkness magic, and... Uh, well, not wood, uh, earth. Earth magic, that's what I was looking for make up for a fairly decent magical hero and keep it in mind that when it comes to Academy, Academy is probably one of the most uh, magically focused uh, race, faction, that's better. Academy is probably the most uh, magically focused uh, faction in the game so getting a hero with a nice three schools of magic yeah, it's like one could argue whether these are nice or not nice schools of magic. Though, the combination of uh, darkness and light, it's like... Uh, I think I used to quite underestimate darkness um, a time, long time ago. Not, not that long time ago, but I used to underestimate the darkness. Actually, I'm looking if there is anyone in the Academy who has probably darkness and fire, because this is like the ultimate combo. The yet another ultimate combo is uh, light and fire. And here, Asalah, Invoker of Castination, also has water. Um, why am I saying this? Because both um, light and fire have many, many um, damaging spells. Especially fire, but. Uh, lightning is doing quite well with it. When it comes to darkness, 
well, yeah, darkness has all those nasty spells, so you can build something with more of a crippling academy deck. Cripples, uh, death ripples, and other other nasty stuff that either harms your opponent if he's trying to harm you, or... Uh, yeah. Stuff. Or, or, or renders his creatures useless, or simply gets rid of their creatures. We also have Light. Light has uh, many useful spells like... Um, whatever they are called, but they are like... Lots of line spells that deal damage. Actually, we could um, drop quickly to the Light. And see what do we have. Heal, that's really good. Clan Sunburst. Sunburst is good. Actually, Sunburst is... Wait, let me... I want only the cards that can be used now. So we have Clans, we have Guardian Angel, Benjing Shield, Sun Blaze, this is a good one. We have... Uh, Bless, this is fairly good. Aura of Healing, this is quite useful. Word of Light, this is really good one. And actually Blinding Light, moderately useful. Honestly, oh my god, it looks like... Like the Armageddon Blade and the Frost Sword. Right, right, that's that's what this sword was called. Yeah, probably Frost Sword and the Armageddon Blade. Mm, okay, so actually looking at those spells... Um, they are not that awesome. We have a few really nice... Uh, a few really nice spells, but... Uh, well, yeah, nice. Nice is all. Getting air would be really useful there. Since air gives us uh, lightning bolts and the chain lightnings and other other uh, painful stuff but also we have Earth here and Earth is yet another school that I think I quite underestimate but it has a potential this has the poison bombs, this has the venom touches, I'm not sure if the venom touch is uh, actually... no? it's not called venom touch my bad. So what I meant basically was... Where is it? Oh, I think I still have those uh, limited series. Mm. Like, it has the image of a uh, poisoned claws, unless... Venom Mustache! I was right all along, but it's not available for the standard format, so... Well, too bad. But we still have Mass Regeneration, this is fairly useful. We have the Stone Shield, uh, which is quite useful as well. Earthbound, Rune Poison, Poisonous Bomb, this is moderately useful. Um, Nature's Fortitude. Actually, it appears that I seem to have a decent collection of Earth spells that I actually underestimate. Nature's rough. My god. With a cost of. Oh my god. Now that's a nasty spell. With a cost of 5 and 4 magic, 
you deploy two nature elemental melee shooter token creatures with two attack, one retaliation, five health, and infect one. On two target valid friendly battleground positions. We have nature's revenge. Two damage to all creatures at buildings. We have the landslide to destroy buildings. Yep. Putrid Dragon's Breath. Once again, more poison. More poison. Oh, melee, melee creatures get anchored. It's like, actually, when it comes to. Uh, to Earth, Earth is like unforgiving. When it comes to Earth School of Magic, like. Uh, target flyer creature, so that's okay. Yeah, it's either working on the target creature or on everything. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have anything that works only on the enemy. We have the Master Generation, which works only on your creatures, and this is actually a really good card. Spell ongoing, it lasts forever. The Stone Shield, once again, useful card. Prevent all damage dealt to your hero at the end of the turn if damage was prevented in this way. Destroy Stone Shield. There is Insect Swarm, which, as I said, is quite uh, punishing because it deals 3 damage to everything, including your creatures, so it kinda sucks. But we have Symbiotic Bark Skin. Whatever it is. Um, enchant friendly creature, permanent enchanted creature gains plus 3 health. When enchanted creature dies, if possible, symbiotic burst bark skin enchants an adjacent friendly creature chosen at random. Cool. Cool. Oh my ass. Awesome. This, this is brilliant. Yeah, but regarding those poisons, they are always uh, applying both to enemy and to you. Friendly earth creatures on the front line get towering and uncored. Fisher, deal 2 damage to all creatures at a building, then destroy all buildings. Nasty. And the nature's rough, oh my god, if, if I had more of these... I guess I'd start thinking about uh, nice earthy deck for some faction. Actually, I don't really fancy. Oh my god, Charity has earth. Damn. Yeah, this could turn out really, really nice. Dalek Princess of Pain. Damn, she can be painful with this magic combo. Surprisingly enough, none of the Necropolis heroes has the fire uh, um, school of magic. Like none of Inferno has light. Mm, what else do we have here? Most of the stronghold heroes have uh, earth. Though not all of them, I, 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 I knew that there is someone who doesn't. There always have to be a combo breaker. Yeah, interesting. Might, might um, think about building something after getting this. Damiria, Color of Madness. With Earth and Fire. Opponent discards that card and every card with the same name. Interesting. Yeah, it's like, do we have any other... Oh, she has Earth. I'm looking for anything else, like, oh my god. Though he has only 18 health, he's the typical mage. But Earth plus Wind plus Fire? Loads of damage. Oh, once again, put one charge counter on all friendly counter creatures with bloodthirst. Not bad, not bad with uh, 
Earth and Fire. Not bad. Again, enter Earth and Fire and also Darkness. No special ability though. But it's like I'm I'm okay with it. Sandor, tempting. Like yeah, the um, the use of this whatever it was called card. Interesting. But anyway, yeah, I'm 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 starting a real long bullshit talk. But actually, uh, what I had to do was just pop in quickly and tell about the new Infernal Pit cards. So yeah, I think I I did my job quite well. I think, I hope. It's actually I, I'm not the one to judge. You're the one to judge whether it was a good work or not. Anyway, uh, that will be it for for today, and uh, actually for for today, for yesterday. Oh, well, actually for you it will be one day. But for me, yeah, it, it kind of ended up recording in in two days. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you do like the video, um, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, uh, leave the comments below. Yeah, comments are always appreciated. Even if they are done to a video that's over a year old. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know, what else should I say? Yeah, once again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week. For the time being, farewell.